Contrary to popular belief, most men, specifically black men, are in their children's lives. They are not absentee fathers. It is a small minority of men that are populating the earth with the majority of the women that are creating this narrative that you are now running with and you're trying to utilize against the whole tire and population and create this space that's not conducive for what it is that we're trying to build as a community. It's a fact, though. Most men, especially black men, are participating in their ch ch children's lives. Why? Because their fathers failed them and their mothers were the first ones that's a part of the feminist movement. And so what men said was, you know what? I don't like the fact that my father wasn't participating in my life. I've seen Kirk Franklin. I see, has anybody caught the, the highlights? I didn't watch the whole thing. I ain't got time to be watching no Netflix documentary. I've seen Kirk Franklin's story. His mother, this man is in his 50s. His mother lied to him about who his father was. He had a sentiment of animosity towards a man that wound up not even really being his father. And then once an auntie then died, another man walked into the funeral that just knew him and was around away because he was just a part of the, a part of the community, right? Came into the auntie's funeral. Everybody looked at him and was like, yo, you look like Kirk Franklin. Hey, Kirk, 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 this dude right here, he looked just like you. So Kirk Franklin had animosity towards a man that was never even his father, but his mother had painted this story in order to save face for a 50-something-year-old man. Kirk Franklin had to take his own initiative and by God's grace, God's grace, he just so happened to be in a position to where this man came across a bunch of people that then reached out to him because he had some level of fame and visibility that he then had the opportunity to be able to go and do a DNA test. And guess what? Ta-da! Just so happened to be his father. The man that wound up being his father never even knew that he had got that woman pregnant, but that woman had been operating based off of her own selfish reasons in order to move in a space that prevented Kirk Franklin. And then who knows the residual effects of what happened to this man? Now, I look at all of the things that happened in the past as far as what Kirk Franklin been through. I don't even hold it against them anymore. A 50-something-year-old man had to come to the front of the congregation throughout his entire life, battling with demons, right? Couldn't even really get right with his own spouse. Was battling sex addictions and porn and all of this stuff, all because he never even really knew who his father was, fought to go and find out who he was, was lied to from his mother, and then had to bring her to the front of the congregation and go and take a DNA test from a man that he just so happened to run into that showed up to a funeral for somebody that he wasn't even related to. And the mama is still trying to save face. What face is there to save? What face is there to save? You know what I hate about the sentiment of women? is that they're willing at the behest and to the detriment of every single person around them willing to go to the grave and die with the lie. Die with the lie. This woman was willing to die with the lie. And that's how I know that a lot of y'all don't even know who y'all real father is. Listen, the greater responsibility lies on women. I know you hate to see it. I know you hate that I'm communicating it to you. You really don't want me to say this to you, but I'm going to tell you the truth. The greater responsibility rests with women. You know why? Especially as it relates to children. I'm going to give you a very, very simple explanation why the greater part of the responsibility. Listen, you want it to be a modern woman. Take this shit. Own this shit. Hear what it is that I'm communicating to you so that you can understand how to move a little bit differently. The greater level of responsibility rests on the shoulder of women. You know why? Because women can't absolve themselves from the possibility of not being the mother. Women can't absolve themselves from the possibility of being the mother. See, a guy... Multiple different guys can sleep with the same woman within a specific time frame and she don't know who the father is. We always going to know who the mother is, though. So the responsibility then rests on you. Don't blame us. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at God. Take it up with him. Take it up with you. 
look in the mirror and say, well, why did I open up my legs to multiple different men? And now I'm sitting in a situation where I got to lie myself for the rest of my life about who it is the possibility of the father this child is. The responsibility is naturally going to lay on you. Now, we have our own level of responsibility in things that we have to be responsible for. The world is unforgiving. They don't give a fuck about us. They don't care if we go broke. They don't care if we go homeless. They don't care if something happened to men. We are held to a higher level of responsibility just by default because I was born with a big cock between my legs. That's just the facts. It's nothing that I can do about that. I was blessed in that way. Shout out to all of the fellas that got third legs. Just is what it is. There's a greater level of responsibility that comes along with being a man. Society, by default, holds us accountable no matter what. It is. Listen, if you're 13, 14, 15 years old and you do something that you're not supposed to do, guess what? You still going to bear the responsibility as a man. You have to eat that. You have to own that. You're going to be responsible for the rest of your life of whatever it is that comes along with it. So because men have no responsibility to the fact that, or, or no accountability to the idea that he can't then say that you're not the mother, the responsibility then lays on you, especially if you don't want that control life. I thought that that's what you wanted to say. My body, my choice, remember that? No, ain't no pause. Ain't no pause. That's just the way that it is. It's, it's, it just is what it is. Ain't no pause. Remember my body, my choice? But I see so many people, simps included, jumping online and having a conversation about the idea. Shout out to the Super Chats. I'm going to be reading those throughout the show. About the idea that we always have to make sure that men are held accountable even for your bad decisions. I was looking at a story today and I actually dropped a video on this channel. The video right before this live stream. And over the last couple of days, I've been covering subjects that's not as popular, right? And the subjects are mainly based around the responsibility that you hold and the decisions that you make every single day as a woman. I'll give you an example. I'm going to give you multiple different examples. First example, there are a lot of women all over the country and it is exploding exponentially the amount of women that are getting diseases. STDs, STIs are running rampant. Rampant. Nobody can ever force me to get an STD or STI because it takes two to tango. There's no way that I'm ever going to see it through with a person that I've never met or a person that I've never been tested with or a person that I haven't experienced the level of connection with and that I understand who they are because we've been a part of a network and we've been intimately connected, not necessarily physically, but intimately connected, meaning loving each other before we ever even get naked with each other. 